everyone how's it going well you can see i'm just planting some boards here through our our uh, planer that we got from harbor freight love the thing um couldn't be happier with it. i've been planting a lot of wood through that thing and right now i'm making the stair treads for in the cabin so i thought i'd give you a little update and a little behind the scenes of actually what i do when i'm not at the cabin working i'm actually at home getting things ready for the following weekend um the past weekend I actually stayed home because I had so much stuff I wanted to get ready. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to stay home and work on all this stuff so I can get a whole bunch of things ready for the next couple weekends when I go up there to uh, try and get that interior finished off in the cabin. Uh, one of the things I did do over the weekend was I found some cedar uh, lap siding and some cedar tongue and groove. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so I went up and bought it and then... Um, I put the stain on it and stuff so that's ready to go so I can finish up the rest of the cedar siding on everything and this tongue and groove is going to be for the um, ceiling on the porch area on our outhouse. Um, so let's take a little walk in the shop here. I'll show you some of the other things I've been working on. Um, it says I've been working on it non-stop since Friday. It's Tuesday today so four days I have spent working on getting stuff. It's hot outside. It's 90 degrees outside. I got the air conditioning on in the shop right now because I work much more efficient if I'm cool and not sweating all over everything I'm trying to work on. So um, I turned the air on on Friday knowing I was going to be out here for several days in a row. And I'm just keeping it nice and cool in the shop so I can get a lot of stuff done. So here are some of the other treads um, that I already planed last night. Those are two I was working on right now. I just glued up last night. So um, I should have done a video on actually making these things. And I can always actually just make one one day and just do a video of me actually making these stair treads, but pretty easy to do, um, a lot cheaper than buying them. You buy raw wood, glue them together, plane them, if you have the tools, obviously, um, but these things, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking they're right around 70, about $70 a piece, I think. Uh, I haven't checked them in a long time, but, I think that's about where they're at. So I'm saving a considerable amount of money for what I paid for the lumber to actually make my own. So the other thing I'm working on is uh, I went up and see my friend Jay. He's got that nice wood shop and we made this stuff. This is the material going to be, I'm gonna make our own interior doors. So I'm gonna do a three panel mission style interior door. Um, I gotta make four of them. So we made enough lumber to be able to make the doors. I went to Menards. I got quarter inch uh, veneer plywood to be able to make the panels with. Um, so I'll be making all of our own doors. Once again, custom made doors like that. God, with the jam and everything, four, about four or $500 a piece. Um, I'm not gonna have nearly that into it. Just, I have the tools to be able to do it. So I'm out. it doesn't take much. I mean, I have a table saw and a miter box here and I bought one of those Craig um, face frame fixtures to be able to put face frames together. But here's the other big thing I got done over the weekend. I did pick up this cabinet for an our outhouse uh, to put a little cabinet, be able to keep TP in there and uh, hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Got this at Menards, has a little damage. You always go, I always go to their bargain bin. A little damage down there, doesn't matter. This side's going up against the wall and I'm screwing it right to the wall, so it doesn't matter. $35 for the cabinet. I had to stain it and put clear on it, but it was originally 85 I think it was $90 I had on the cabinet, and I got it for 35 because there's some damage on it. Uh, doesn't matter. It, it, it works for my purpose. So uh, Jay had all this wood up at his wood shop, and it was mismatched colors. Um, it was a couple different stain colors on this wood that he had saved uh, from a project years ago, and it was way up on high on one of the racks, and we dug it down, and it had two inches of dust on top of it and everything else. I cleaned it all off, ran it through that planer out there, planed all the stain that was on there off, then I ran it through the table saw, ripped both edge clean, and then I rerouted the edges and then restained it and cleared it to what we wanted. It took some time, but uh, Jay treated me really well on this stuff because it wasn't gonna work for anything else because the stuff had been sitting around for so long and the colors were so mismatched on it. I repurposed it into what we needed and it works great. And some of it is quarter sawn. Here's one right here. This is quarter sawn, red oak quarter sawn. So when they sign it, they turn the log a different direction. So they catch the grain differently. So some of this quarter sawn 
oak I'm gonna be using around our door openings and stuff as the casing for around the door so it really jumps out at you when you come in the cabin you'll really see it so here's a regular a regular sawn board so you see your grain normally like you'd normally see it here's a quarter sawn board then so they turn the log when they're sawing it so it exposes the grain differently it's uh it's almost an art but a lot of these shorter boards were quarter sawn so that's gonna look really cool around our doors and stuff one other thing i did is i made the risers so we're doing rustic oak on the treads and then we're doing maple on the risers i like to mix woods up i don't like to just run all one wood throughout a project i love mixing woods up i think it looks gorgeous when you do it right and I, I just love the look of different woods together like all this trim we stained all this dark this is going to go up against all the paneling that we already put up which we left natural and now this oak trim we stained dark to go up against that natural finished wood that we already put in for our paneling and then the interior doors when i'm done with those I'm gonna not stain them. I'm just gonna put a clear coat on the interior doors so the door will contrast from the trim. So I like the look of it. I love mixing woods up. Um, I'm not one of, you have to just do all the same wood. Uh, I love mixing all kinds of different woods. So here's our maple treads. And uh, once again, I had to glue up boards to get the tall enough boards you can see the seam right here. Let me look down the end. You can see the glue sticking out the end. So I glued all these up and then planed them and then just hit them with the DA quick. Um, and then I put a finish, I actually sprayed all of them last night. So there's all the risers for the stairs. Uh, I've got the trim here, got the cabinet ready. Been doing all kinds of stuff. Um, got all the stuff for the doors. These I'll probably have done, I don't know if I'll have these done by the end of the week. Um, I'm going up in two days up to the cabin for a few days. So I don't know if, here's one of my hot rods. If you guys ever see my other channel, just Google Todd Klein, my name, and I'm into building hot rods and snowmobiles and all that kind of stuff too. But I just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes, give you an update of where we're at on the cabin right now. All the paneling's done. I haven't done a video up there all summer. Um, this weekend I'm going to, but we got all the clear on Memorial weekend. My brother helped me. Um, we had a bunch of other help up too, but we put all the clear on, all the paneling. We sanded everything, put the second coat on. Uh, we actually painted the shed, the outhouse, and the front of the barn. Uh, Memorial weekend, I, I did a lot up there. Um, I had a lot of help, so we got a lot done that weekend. Um, I think that was it. I think that's all I had. I, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to bore you with anything. I just wanted to show you real quick some of the neat stuff I'm doing right now for the finishing touches of the cabin. So stay tuned. Uh, this weekend, I'll do another video when I'm up there so I can show you what the interior is starting to look like with the finish on everything. Oh, we got our flooring down up there too. God, we've done a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've been really bad on the filming thing this summer. So um, stay tuned, guys. Thanks. Appreciate all the comments. I always respond to all my comments. Give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it, guys.